please hear me let me encourage someone as we pray for the sake of those depending on you don't give up don't give up some of you are crying listen to me i'm very serious for the sake of your family members if you give up who else will help them are you not seeing their state that's why god sent you to koinonia here my name is asitonka agri abba and channel is called acid darling because i'm such a damn <laughs> Hi guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trevor Asi Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. I am so happy to be back. February started off really, really painful. And that is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video I'm doing today. Um, the death of Herbert Wigwe, those of you that do not know, the CEO of Access Bank, um, had a very tragic death. Him, his wife, his son that is two generations poof and um he had some associates with him in the helicopter crash and let me tell you the way i started february i won't even lie i was so pumped i announced of course i was going to be pushing videos on my instagram i was pushing on my tiktok those of you that have not joined me please follow me on tiktok i'm trying to get to 1000 sub subscribers is it what subscribers or followers is called please check me out on tiktok at acid darling so february started off well let me tell you and i do not mince words the moment i heard about these deaths i laid down and slept i was up i was ready to you know i even had like several days when my shifts um, at work were like evening shifts so i had the mornings free the for two weeks back to back i had saturday sunday free i did not have any excuse that i can tell you for me not shooting videos or doing anything i just the moment the moment Herbert Wigwe died, it seemed like there was no need for the hustle. There was no need for anything. February just dealt with me in a way that I cannot even speak. And um, I feel like personally what I decided to start doing, I was just speaking to my friends. I was calling my... Like, it just... It, life just became... I know that most times we get to have those kind of feelings when somebody dies. Like, you're not like, oh my God, life is so fragile and all. But in reality, it, it dawned on me how fragile it can be. That one day you're here, one day you're not. But that is one part of this video that I'm going to be talking about. Now, with everything... One part of Herbert Wigwe's life that nobody can deny is his involvement in church. Now, he was a pastor in the Redeemed Church, specifically his branch in Lagos called City of David. Now, the City of David branch, having Herbert Wigwe as a pastor, he was one, if not their biggest donor in terms of anything they're doing in that church. I'm going somewhere. Recently, the pastor's wife, She's also the founder of Arise um, Women Conference or something like that. She celebrated her 60th birthday. Not only did she celebrate her 60th birthday, now get it. 60, this year is going to be for all the hot mamas. They are 60. I think Mo Abudu is turning 60. Ruto Sime just did her 60th um, birthday. I think there are more people in that their clique that are going to be turning 60 this year. Now, this is where the catch is. I See, I make sure, if you check my videos, I don't talk all this controversial talk that has to do with pastor, religion, I you stay away from it. But this thing has to be said. Everything did not pain me until Mommy Gio brought flavor for her reception. Flavor! Your pastor's body has not reached Nigeria. Flavor! Hey, God have mercy. See, eh? Ha. Let me just advise you. I don't like to advise, so if you're new here, ask around. I don't give advice, but let me just help and say this one. Try not to die. Whatever you do in this life, don't die, you. Hey, don't die. These people are crazy, you. You see these people you are, you are struggling for? Hey, they will soon move on. Oh, God. Don't die, you. Sometimes I, when I saw that cold, like goosebumps all over my body, I say, why did this man die? Even if the man died, what, why not maybe his wife and his son will be safe so that they will see their pastor's um, behavior. At least let them see and learn. Just see. His body has not reached the altar of God. 
Because in Christianity, I don't know if it's the new wokeness or whatever. You're a pastor. He died out of the country. At least if not for anything, the church will still be mourning. Because he's not just an anybody now. So what is the hope of a common man that attends that church? That is, if you just die and your own is, you know when they are doing announcement of where you should drop your phone when you come to church and we lost one brother. So praise the Lord, offering time, like it will just be something else because this is your highest donor and look at, look at it. I put it to you, mommy Gio, if you had moved your birthday celebration, I swear throughout this 2024, you will still be 60 years. You will still be 60 throughout 2024. If you say, okay, that celebration cannot be moved. I feel the insult was bringing flavor. You did not bring Nathaniel Bassi mixed with Choma Jesus, mixed with Moses Bliss, mixed with um, 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 Chinyero Doma, mixed with all the Christian worshippers. They should lie down on stage. What could they cry? So that we know that, you know when um, um, Pastor, Pastor Taiwo um, died and his kids Jimmy, Odukoya, and the rest, they came and they were singing Thanksgiving. These people are not singing Thanksgiving based on they are happy their father died. They are orphans now. Jimmy that has entered um, Hollywood, then bring them back to assignment number one, to be a pastor. They are singing and you can see that they are worshipping God, not because they are not pained by the situation at ground, but because they trust God. There's a difference. But if you look at that her own, oh God. Anybody that is siding it, guys, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I, I give it to you, man. Like, all your pictures, fantastic, beautiful. There's nothing wrong with celebrating, giving to the less privileged. Her clothes were bling bling. See, diamond, diamond, jam diamond. Um, what's her name? The richest woman, Alakija, was there. In fact, all the old time city people, people um, celebrities were there. Every So, I want to ask. Are you more for you to bring flavor? <sighs> Mumi Gio, are you more of a socialite than a pastor's wife? Like, are you more of a socialite? Because there are, there are musicians you would have brought. Spyro is not a gospel musician. He's a musician that is a Christian. You would have brought Spyro. Who's your guy? That one is good. You're the only fine guy. Fantastic! You would have brought Timmy. Timmy is not a gospel musician. Timmy is a musician that is a believer. Gospel musicians are the uh, Messi Chinwo, you know, um, Choma Jesus, gospel musicians, gospel ministers. But the ones that are musicians that are believers, you would have brought, as a pastor's wife, you set example. If you're bringing flavor that is whining ways, that is talking, singing about bomb bomb, what exactly will the, the congregation people bring? Charlie Poppy now. For which, Oh God, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am not even a member of his church. And I'm telling you for two weeks plus, I even got DMs. I see what is going on. I, I could not think. Let me not lie to you people. I, I began to see life differently because sometimes I'll just be walking. I say, what if I fall down and die? And then not less than two weeks after that, May 12th, I lost my aunt. And if you know Port Harcourt's event business, if you know catering, there's no way you don't know Royal Touch events. Like, if I'm having any wedding where the governors are coming, all those kind of things, she's the one. I did a wedding in Okrika. It's on my playlist. She was there. The biggest wedding that was if one of the first, in my first videos that blew up this channel. She was, she was there. She was the caterer too. Time and time again, like, when her own, her own death, the way the thing came to me, it was a client, I told people on the live session, a client um, um, from Ireland, we did her wedding, fantastic, amazing couples. She, she sent me a message like, I said, I've heard something, get back to me. Sent me a voice note that somebody told her that the person that did that decoration, told her mother-in-law, and that's Ireland, that the person that did that decoration is dead. I said, my aunt, dead how? I called my sister. I started calling her. I was calling her. She was not picking her number. I called my sister immediately. Say, get in touch with auntie. What is what's going on? Hmm. She called. I said, begin to check blogs. So I need to check internet. She's big. Check internet. Somebody would have carried this. We now saw that weddings in Potakot had carried it. That she had died. She's not. She was not up to fifty now. I don't think she was not up to fifty. See, eh? <laughs> February taught me a lesson on life. A lesson on life. If there's a way, 
just try not to die. Try not to die. I told one of my friends, like, we were just talking about it on, on uh, Facebook. They will, they will ask God for forgiveness. They will ask God. You see those people? Imagine Herbert Wigwe was not really dead. And then he's seen his pastor. His wife is seeing the pastor, seeing the pastor's wife. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, what do you think about her birthday celebration? Um, what were your thoughts? I think for me personally, celebrating the birthday, doing a very lavish celebration was in poor taste. I know that there are things that, yes, in the kingdom, let's not talk. Listen, let's get to a point where God will purge the church. God will purge this church. We have been so intertwined with flesh that even me, that I cannot remember how, how when last, when last did I even go to church here? Every Sunday, that's when they used to give me work. Me, I'm the one that will see something Mommy Gio will do. And it will grieve my spirit as if now me be head pastor. Ha! This problem. We are going, we are falling. I don't even know where we have gotten to. Flavor, ma mama. Flavor. <laughs> you would have brought Odumodu and uh, Charlie Poppy at once. Because it doesn't see any of you that attend City of David. Please let me know how it makes sense that flavor was called upon when the body of their pastor, the body of their highest donor in that church, that body has not reached Nigeria and they are dancing. It's not even that he died. It's that they wiped out his first, his first generation. Just go. His heir, his wife. Then I talk now, they say, why the thing they pain you like? This man has not given me anything. And it's, the debt is grief. There's nobody that, you don't need to know access bank. You don't need to know. See his house that he just finished. See house. See house. See, see, the, see the structure. See the things he has in place. See his university that he was, he was building in, uh, in Ishopo. Very massive. This is somebody that still had years. Decades to live. Poof. And then the, the church, not his business partners, not politicians, not other people. There are people that are his friends that do not go about being callous. Everybody still, ha, how about, hey, how about you're gone, hey, hey. But the church is the first to begin to gyrate. Not gyrating in, not, ah. Don't die, yo. Don't die, don't die. Try not to die. <laughs> Try not to die. If there's anything that has made... Like, if you're, if that is your church, eh, let me just help you. Better better serve God. Better know God. Because at a point, I, I, I ask myself, like, what, thang, what if the wife and the son were alive? And they saw this thing. And I just remember, the voice told me, if the wife and the son were alive and saw this display, it will... It will it will mess up their Christian faith. It will mess up. Because I saw, I was in the kitchen. I was just watching. I said, Kai. Oh boy. For if it's only this man that died. Maybe the wife and the son. For if they were alive. Imagine they are alive. They are still crying. And then. Uh, pastor's wife is gyrating to flavor. You are gyrating to flavor. Your, the body of your pastor. The highest donor in that church. Has not touched ground. See. No. There, were, there, were, there was a time back then then they suspend pastors. I don't know what we are doing now. Me, I don't know what we are doing now. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section because it is crazy. It is, it is important. A lot of people have been um, speculating because um, word on ground is saying that Wigwe family wants City of David Parish of Aru CCG to stay off the barrier. Fantastic! There is no way I will see that gyration and you will near, you will not even touch the casket. <laughs> you will not see him. You will not see, you will not know the place. For once, as Christians, if we do not take a stand against some of these things, you, you, you will not know. God will forgive, God will forgive. You will not see him. Oh. Hey God. That is the mind I want the people to have. That is the mind. Because for you to do this type of thing, Somebody now commented and said, great, I told my friends how ins insulting it was for that parish to throw a lavish party when one of their major, 
if not the major sponsor, was lying cold along, alongside his wife and son. They should have honored the father by postponing the party till after the burial for crying out loud. Throughout this year, you're going to be 60. You see this year, you're going to be 60. And then somebody, you say you, you love. That is shepherd. Sorry, yo, I'm sorry. Yo. It's like this in this our own type of Christianity. Shepherd need they care for sheep. Oh. It's sheep that is taking care of shepherd till they die. Sheep. Now they take care of shepherd. I did not even know I was going to be this angry. That's why I've not done video since. Because the more I talk about it, the more I'm shaking in, in holy anger. I am so pissed. I am confused. I'm, I'm wondering. I'm saying, Kai, Omo, oh, huh, how about you for wake up? Oh? You would have woken up to see your pastor. You would have woken up. To, don't die, yo. Hey, God. If you will pray one prayer, hold your head and say, God, let me not die. You see this thing I'm doing? Open my eye to see where I'm supposed to be pouring energy. See, honest to God. If we are going to be very realistic, if not that, if not that, so, if not that God is on the throne, there is no need, there is no use whatsoever for those. In fact, let it be, let it be uh, 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 um, Papa Deboye himself and his wife that will, that will, that will do the last rites for this man. Let's jump these pastors. Let's jump these ones. I will not lie. In all honesty, I've not gotten to 5% of the achievement. What 5% oh, self is me just trying to rep myself small. 1% of the achievement of this man. Poof. All the things I know I'm struggling for. I don't think that I am struggling to be the owner of a bank. Or have that big university. Or have that. My goal self no reach like that. And then somebody has attained all of that. And he... See the way he died. See the tragic way he died with his entire family. He's like his wife and his first son. And then the place he calls home, the place he, he comes to for shelter, they're doing party. Well, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. These are just my personal opinions. I am one person that I try to stay away from religion and religious talk. That's why any pastor trending talk, you will never see me put in my mouth. But this was important, especially considering how much this particular event of his death affected me, snowballed into my auntie's death again, just this February. It just made me to introspect, like, what is life? I try to make sure that I'm there for my family, my friends. And at the end of the day, what is life? I was telling somebody, I said, ah, you think people love you? Try, try your best not to die on Mother's Day. Hey, when they have set all the pictures they'll put of their mother, you now have the F on three to die that day. Now the next day, now the next day, nobody has strength that day for you. That's, that's, the, that's my, my memory verse for today. Try. Try not to die in whatever you do. Try not to die. Fight. Sit up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Try not to die. Life. Where there's life, there is hope. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I remember your girl, Asi Darling. Please leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. As usual, your girl is back by the grace of God. So, please make sure to check out my other videos. And hope you enjoyed this one. Like, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, um, Facebook, Instagram. And also here on YouTube. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I remember your girl, Asi Darling. Please check out my other videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Why you give me down so